Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my absolute favourite kind of videos to film and that is a first impressions video. I know, I feel like every second video I put up on my channel is a first impressions but I literally love them, I love watching them, I love trying new makeup, I love buying new makeup. Um, so I did buy quite a lot of this, some of it I was given as well. It's about, actually it's about like 70% I was given, 30% I bought. Um, but yeah, I've been dying to try this stuff out. It's been sitting in my room for a little while now. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything turned out. This is kind of the look we came up with. But like literally, there is so much to try. It's insane. Yeah, I really, really loved how everything turned out. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, there's actually so much stuff in front of me, it's a little bit ridiculous, but I am going to start with moisturiser, so I'm grabbing the Uni Active Calm Firming Facial Moisturiser. So, this says, renew skin with long-lasting hydration in a feather-like cream that quickly melts into the skin, active elder waste plant stem cell technology, and Buriti Oil help reveal firmer, smoother skin. It's got heaps of really nice ingredients to help soften fine lines, and natural aroma to help diminish stress. So that's great. It feels really nice. The texture is really beautiful. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing. That literally feels divine. It feels so nice. Alright, next we're going to step into primers. I have two here. Well, this one's not really a primer, but I can use it as a primer. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Liquid. This is the shade Prosecco Pop, though. So obviously I try, I've tried this formula before, but not this colour. So I might leave that one and go on the MAC Stro Cream, which I've never tried before. I've been wanting to try this for ages, and I bought it... Um, at a sale that I went to, which was really, really cool. So I need a mirror. It actually feels super hydrating, which is not what I expected from that at all. And it just adds a really nice luminosity to the skin, so I love that. Alright, for foundation, I'm going to try the Lancome Tent Adult Ultra Wear. Um, I don't think this colour is going to be anywhere near correct, so let's just uh, give it a go. I have the shade 048. I do have a tan on, which I got this colour to match my tan, but we'll just um, see. Uh, not going to use this one because that is not the right colour. So I'm going to go ahead and do foundation and concealer because I don't have any concealer either um, so I'm just going to pop them on quickly. I'm just using the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation which you'll see in my haul video is new as well and the Sephora um, High Coverage Concealer which isn't new but you know I'll be right back. Okay, my apologies, um, I got halfway through that and realised that I didn't have a new setting powder or a brow product either, so I just went ahead and did all of them. But now we're ready to jump into everything else that's new. So, I'm going to do my cheeks first. So for contour, I'm going to grab the Smith & Colt Book of Sun palette. So this looks like this, the packaging is super cute, except it really bothers me how that's on an angle but anyway I'm just gonna jump in and use this contour shade I'm not gonna use the blush because I have a couple of other blushes I want to try so let's just dive straight in and give me some cheekbones that's actually a really nice Color. I really like how that looks. It's not muddy. It's the perfect kind of combination between cool and warm and actually gives the illusion that I have some cheekbones. So I really like that. Alrighty, to bronze up my face, I'm going to take the Becca 
What is this? Be a light um, face palette, I guess. I've seen Jeffree Star try this one out, so we'll see how it goes. Packaging is super bougie. And it just looks like this. So I'm going to take... I don't really know. I think I'm going to take... this shade here but it might be too light so I might kind of mix these two together and we'll see how that goes. Okay so I like the formula of this one but I think this shade's a little bit too orange. Um, I'm just going to read the box to let me know what the colours are meant to be used for. So this one is meant to be used all over the face to brighten and boost radiance. This one's obviously a blush. This one it says contour used to sculpt and define features. I think it's a little bit too orange to use for contour. It is quite a nice bronzer but it's yeah, probably a little bit too warm for me. And then it says that this last one is a blur powder used, yours, used all over the face to blur imperfections and even the complexion. So I think what I'm going to do is just on my fluffy brush, I'm going to take this one and kind of just pop it everywhere and see how that goes. Alrighty, well I don't really think that did anything either, but that's okay. I might, I might give that one away. <laughs> Alrighty, for blush, I am going to take the MAC Just Powder Blush in the shade Burnt Pepper. This colour is to die for. And I can probably only wear it when I've got tan on, but that's okay. That is absolutely stunning. It looks quite intense on camera, but I promise you in person, it looks literally beautiful. I'm obsessed with that. I'm actually gonna come back to the Becca Shimmering Skin Factor Liquid and we're gonna do a quick little liquid highlight moment. So I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand. Just like that. And then just grabbing my beauty blender. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. It is literally about to pull. That's okay. Um, just grabbing my beauty blender, dabbing it in, and I'm just gonna pop that on the high points of my cheeks. Down the bridge of my nose. And pretty much just everywhere. Okay, now for highlight highlight, I have I almost dropped that. Oh my god. Okay, I have two that I want to try and it's going to be a super difficult decision because I'm dying to put both of them on my face. So I might just do one on each cheek. So on this side, I'm going to take this MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Whisper of Guilt. is beautiful it's not chunky it doesn't highlight all my texture it's just a really nice soft highlight on the other cheek I am taking the Dior backstage palette I have been dying to try this since I got it gifted to me obviously these are blush and bronzer I will use them another day but I already had others that I wanted to try so I'm just gonna try this gold highlight up here this just looks like the most beautiful wet highlight. So I'm going to take it down my nose as well. That is so subtle, but it's so, so incredibly beautiful. Alrighty, now that we have most of the base products on, we're going to jump right into the eyes. So for my eyes, I'm taking the Mecca Beauty Queen palette. I bought this a while ago and I've been dying to jump into it. So I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the internet, but it looks like this. The 
all really beautiful marble shades. You can use this for blush and highlight as well, I believe. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this bronzer as a transition shade because there isn't really one in the palette. I'm just going to add a little bit of these blush to my eyes as well because the colours in the palette are quite pinky and purpley and I think that they would go really nicely together. Let me do some swatches for you, shall I? So I'm, I'm going to swatch this middle row here and we'll just see what they look like. So this is what that middle row of colours look like. They're all just beautiful, metallic, pearly. I'm obsessed with that orange shade. Okay, so I'm going to jump in and give this colour a go and I might use a little bit of the orange as well. I thought it would be a little bit more shimmery than it is, so I'm going to add some Fix Plus to my brush. That looks a lot better. And then I'm just going to jump in and pop a little bit of the orange just on the center of the lid. Again, I'm going to wet my brush. I'm just going to jump in and do the other eye and then I'll show you guys a close up. Okay, so at the moment this is what the eyes are looking like. I thought those colors were going to be a little bit more pigmented to be honest. Um, but they're still really, really pretty, just like a nice everyday kind of eye. But yeah, not really what I was expecting, but still really, really nice. Okay, before I use any um, wet eye products like liquid liner or mascara, I'm going to just set my face. So I'm using the MAC Prep and Prep. A little bit. bit. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is the gold one with the shimmer in it. I have, again, been dying to try this. This stuff has literally been sitting in my room for probably like two months or like a month and a half. Um, so I'm really, really keen to get this all on my face. I'm just going to give it a shake. Oh my god, I love the smell of Fix Plus. Alrighty, for I'm gonna do two kinds of eyeliner. So I'm gonna do my lash line with the new Fenty Fly Liner in the shade because I'm black. Um, this is this is just a felt tip eyeliner. I love the packaging. It's like a triangle kind of shape. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just gonna use this. I'm not gonna do a wing because I don't wanna mess my face up. So far we're looking pretty damn good. So I'm just gonna do it across my upper lash line. It's definitely super, super pigmented, really, really black. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm just gonna go and do the other eye. But I have also bought the Anastasia um, waterproof gel liner. So I'm going to use this in my waterline and see how it holds for the rest of the day. Because that is my main concern with gel eyeliners because they never stay in my waterline. So we're going to see how this holds. So I'm just using a little liner brush and applying this to my waterline. Okay, so far so good. It glides on really easily. It doesn't tug at all. I'm not allergic to it, which is awesome because I am to a lot of gel liners. Um, but we'll see throughout the day if that stays in place or not. I don't have any mascara, so I'm just going to go and use my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and I'll be back in a second. My lashes are literally a mess right now. I got a lash lift a couple of weeks ago and now they're starting to grow out, so they're going every which way, which is really hard, um, but that's okay. For falsies today, I'm so excited for this. I've never heard of this brand before. This is called Artemis Lashes. Oh my gosh, there's so much packaging. And they look like this. 
They're in the style of jaw dropper and they look, they look really pretty. I don't know if I want to put them on and waste them. I mean, obviously I can wear them again, but let's give them a go. They are super, super pretty. Really natural, but really pretty. Falsies are literally so hard for me to put on at the moment because my natural lashes are sticking in 400 million different directions. But they're on and they look beautiful. They're so nice. They're natural, but they're wispy. And they just add a lot of volume, which is what I need. Last but not least, I have four different lip colors to choose from. I have no idea which one I want to use. Um, actually, no, I want to use this one, but I don't know if it will go with the look. So this is a gloss by Bite, so we might just layer that on top of whatever. Then I have these two little lip crayons from Zoeva. So these are the colours. And then I have the new Marc Jacobs Enamoured Lip Gloss Stick. But I think I just have to try this one. It's in the shade Aha uh -huh Honey. And I've been wanting to try these for so long, so I just think that I have to. Okay, so the formula of that is beautiful. It feels really trippy because it's literally a gloss, but it's like in it's in the stick. Um, feels really nice, feels really hydrating. However, there is no color, so I am gonna go in with one of the Zoeva lip colors. Okay, these all must be glosses because that is not very pigmented either. It's kind of just like a your lips for better kind of gloss, so it's really nice but just not what I was expecting. So there we have it guys, that is the end of the video. Let me have a quick recap of everything. So to start off with, I loved the moisturizer and the primer. They felt really, really beautiful, really hydrating on the skin. I love the texture of that moisturizer. I'll be using that a lot and it is firming, so I'll let you guys know if it actually does get rid of the fine lines on my forehead or anything like that. Um, the Lancome foundation, that color was just a big old no, so I didn't even get to try the formula. But yeah. <clears throat> For contour, I really, really liked that Smith & Colt contour. It looks really, really beautiful. Perfect kind of neutrally color. Um, the bronzer is kind of faded now, I guess, from that Becca palette. It was a little bit too orange, but now it's kind of gone, so I don't really know. The blush from MAC is to die for, absolutely stunning. Um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector I loved, of course. Both the highlights, at the moment I'm actually kind of leaning more towards this MAC highlight. Um, it just is a little bit more blinding, but the Dior one it would be really, really nice for something that's a little bit more natural as well. Um, the eyes, that palette is not what I was expecting. I mean, it's pretty, but I'm not sure yeah, it just, it's, I'm a bit let down, to be honest. Um, but anyway, the Fenty liner, so far so good. It's not bleeding at all, which I've heard a lot of people say about it. Um, but obviously I'll have to try it again with a wing, but I didn't want to ruin the look. <laughs> um, the lashes, I'm obsessed with, they're beautiful. The Anastasia liner, so far so good, but we'll just see. My eyes kind of eat away at liner, so we'll just see how that goes. And the lips, again, Really, really nice, not very pigmented, but overall I think we've had a pretty good first impressions video. So if you guys really liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye.